We've had many near misses, but remember, all it takes is one storm to cause catastrophic damage, and it's happened before. Here's a look back at some of the tropical systems that have hit or come close to the islands. The first official hurricane recorded in the vicinity of the islands was back in 1950. Hurricane Hiki bypassed Hawaii, but it still dropped an estimated 52 inches of rain on Kauai. Nine years later, Hurricane Dot made landfall on Kauai just weeks before Hawaii became a state. It toppled power lines and devastated the island sugarcane and macadamia crops. We jump ahead now to November of 1982, the arrival of Hurricane Eva. The powerful storm caused significant damage to Kauai's south shore. Poipu Beach used to be one of the most luxurious and popular resort areas on Kauai. Now it will be at least a month and a half before the debris is cleared. The waves came up to about chin high. Oahu's Waianae coast was battered by high surf and winds. Homes were shredded into pieces. At the time, Eva was the costliest storm to hit Hawaii, with damage totaling $312 million. That figure would be topped a decade later by the most powerful hurricane to strike Hawaii in recorded history. Hurricane Iniki was massive, with wind gusts up to 175 miles an hour, and Kauai took a direct hit. Iniki, Hawaiian for piercing wind, is living up to its name. Its fierce winds are piercing through everything in its way. And this is not even the height of the hurricane. The island was torn apart. More than 14,000 homes were damaged or destroyed, and residents were left without electricity for weeks. The estimated damage was over $3 billion. Over the next two decades, the islands felt the remnants of several weakened systems. In 2014, Azel made landfall on the Big Island as a tropical storm. Winds brought down invasive albizia trees in Puna, which damaged homes and crops. Four years later, Hurricane Lane turned towards the state. It never made landfall, but still dumped 58 inches of rain on the Big Island, becoming the wettest storm on record in Hawaii. The Wailuku River did this. It's bursting at the seams, sending water flooding down the main street of the island. In fact, you can see it's coming right through this home. Lane's strong winds also downed trees and power lines on Maui, igniting brush fires that destroyed or damaged seven homes. Just a month later, Hurricane Olivia arrived, eventually making landfall on Maui and Lanai as a tropical storm. Homes and vehicles were washed away in a raging river in Honokohau Valley. Our last major scare was in July of 2020. Hurricane Douglas came within 30 miles of the islands, passing Kahuku at its closest point. Fortunately, the Category 1 storm did not cause any major damage. Our hurricane history serves as a reminder that we should always be ready for the next big storm threat.